beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell and today we are talking about curly hair extensions. I posted this photo on Instagram. You guys blew up my DMs and in my comment section freaking out over the hair and I did wear curly hair extensions in this photo. So I want to share today with you guys what I used in that photo and how I actually install my curly hair extensions. This is not sponsored. If you're interested in finding out how I go from short hair to long luscious curly locks then just stay tuned if you're not subscribed to my channel already you know the drill go ahead hit that subscribe button down there make sure to turn the bell on so that you're notified when I upload videos here on YouTube and please if you have even the tiniest little second to hit the thumbs up button or hit the thumbs down button if you don't like a video and to leave me a comment it really does help out the algorithm here on YouTube so I appreciate all the interaction that I can get and Without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump on into this video. Okay, so I've actually had my hair up for most of the day, so I'm gonna take it down. What? And this is gonna look crazy, but I promise, just trust the process. I didn't feel like washing and restyling my hair or anything for this, so I just want to start with kind of my crazy hair here. I've got a lot of gray coming in, let's ignore that. Okay, so the ones that I purchased for this particular picture was the uh, curly, style extensions from Babonia. They have three different styles from wavy, curly, and then like more like a kinky coily style. Um, so I got the curly style because that looked like it most matched my curly hair. I also only got the 110 gram set. They have a 110 gram set and then they have a 220 gram set. The 220 gram is a lot more hair, of course. And I got it in the chestnut color. Now, I got those before I colored all of my hair. I still had quite a bit of blonde, so that chestnut color was like a perfect match to my hair color before. And I actually can still use that color, and it almost looks like a little bit of ombre in my hair. Those were also the 16 inch set. I'll put all of that in the description box so that you don't have to remember it. I purchased the first set. But Babonia reached out to me and they wanted to send me another set that matches this color. So I got the 18 inch, which is just a little bit longer than the first set. And I got the 220 gram, which is more hair. And I also got it in the shade dark brown. So again, I'll leave it in the description box. The ones that I used in the picture that you see and the ones that I'm using today to show you how I install them. When you get them, and I literally have only tried these on one time, so these are pretty much fresh out of the box. I haven't even styled them yet. Um, so this is how they come. This is what they look like. This is the curly set, so as you can see, it's got that nice little curly wave. It's not like ringlets, you know what I mean? They do have a style that is more of that ringlet, but this matches my texture the best. The 220 gram set is gonna be a lot more extensions than the 110, but I have pretty thin, low density hair, so the 110 gram set worked perfectly fine for me. I just wanted to be a little extra with this next set so that when I really, really wanna pump up the volume, I have all this extra hair to use. I probably will not use all of this hair today, just FYI. Okay, so to start off, the first thing that I like to do is take a three clip weft right here. I just kinda of shake it out because when you first take it out of the package, they're, you know, the curls are kind of like stuck together and you can separate it once you put it in your hair. I'll show you exactly how I do that. This is the trick that you want to use when you're doing extensions. I flip all of my hair over and I clip these extensions in um, kind of like upside down, if that makes sense. So normally you would separate your hair and put the clips in just like this and clip them, but I'm actually going to flip them upside down and clip them in upside down. So I'm gonna show you. I have pajama pants on. This is the real life of YouTube, okay? Uh, business on top, party at the bottom. So I'm gonna flip all of my hair over and take the three clip weft and just clip that in. Just like that, okay? Flip it back and then you have that first clip in, okay? And what this does is it eliminates that weird, funky piece 
of hair like where your hair shows through right at the bottom and it's like a dead giveaway that you have an extensions so that's like my favorite little trick to really like concealing that you're actually wearing extensions if that makes sense next thing i do is go right above that and i'm just gonna kind of put my fingers through my hair separate it gently and clip all of this up just like so. The next one I'm gonna go in with is a four clip weft, okay? I'm gonna go right along this little hairline and clip it in just like that, okay? So, just like so, and it doesn't have to be perfect because listen, these are all gonna be covered, okay? So I'm gonna go right here above the ears. You wanna easily separate your curls so you're not tearing your hair and ripping your hair to shreds, okay? Okay, and since this is the widest part of my head, what I like to do is take two three-clip wefts, okay? And I'll start on one side and do one three-clip here, and then do the other three-clip on the opposite side, okay? I'm just gonna start right here. Just push that in, push that in. Here's my other three-clip weft, and I'm gonna go this way, push last one will overlap just a little bit and that's totally fine here's what it's looking like now we can go like right at the temple I have a little two this one's a little wonky this was like the little sample piece that they put in there for you to kind of match your hair up so it's a little wonky but we're gonna fix it okay and we're gonna put one two inch on one side two inch on the other side. I just kind of like check to see where or if I need any extra, any extra help here. Look at all of this hair, y'all. Wow. Currently from that 220 gram set, I still have a four clip weft, another three clip weft, and another three clip weft so if i really i mean that's a lot of hair that's a lot of hair left right but what i might do just to add a little extra right here at the at the crown i might put a little little three inch right here so just to be extra i don't think i need this by any means but since we have it let's go ahead and use it literally just kind of pushing it in and clipping it so then once you have all of your clips in you can really start to like separate out some of these pieces here comes the part that some of you might not like and listen you really could just like style your hair at this point and let it go you know however you want you can pull part of your hair back. You can do all kinds of styles with it, right? What I like to do is take a curling iron. I know, don't kill me. You're probably like, oh my God, don't add heat to your hair. Listen, listen, I understand if you don't wanna use heat on your hair, you don't have to, but in order for it to blend the best, I find that this works the best. Now, I am using this curling iron today, but I typically use a smaller curling iron than this. I usually have like a half an inch. I think this is a one inch. I usually have a half an inch um, curling iron, but I have no idea what the heck I did with it. So we're just gonna have to use this one today. Pick up little pieces and I start to just twist it around. And I really start with just the extensions first because my curls are a little more of that round curl shape, you know, and these tend to be a little bit of a tighter kind of wave pattern. So this just helps to blend that all in. I'm just taking pieces and just wrapping it around and you don't have to do your whole head, literally just picking up random pieces. All of these are the extensions, you guys. I try not to even pick up any of my own hair, but for the most part, I try to stick to just using the heat on the extension just to help blend it the best that I can. And so as you can see, like some of the ends are a little bit like stringy. So I like to kind of hit the ends just a little bit to make sure that they have some shape and they're not looking frizzy. 
and these are human hair so you can use heat on them you can wash them dry them style them whatever i mean that's the beauty of these you treat them just like you would your regular hair and i like to just kind of get in there and kind of separate out just like i would kind of like my natural hair you know separate out some of those waves helps give it even more volume and so typically i wouldn't really curl any of my own hair but because i didn't refresh and my hair's been up in like a messy bun i am gonna just like hit these few little front pieces real quick and again if i would have already refreshed my hair i wouldn't even need to be doing this on the front part i just don't want it to look too crazy frizzy so that's just like a quick little reference of how i would do this now what you can do is go in with a pick and i like to kind of press up not only does this give it more volume but it also helps to blend your hair with the extension gel look at that oh my gosh this is what my hair used to look like when i was a teenager for real for real so this this is the side that you know this is what it would look like once you're done and this is kind of when you first put it in and it's not all you know completely blended i could take a lot more time and make this look even more perfect but i'm not going to do all that because it's not necessary i'm just going to go ahead and hit this side with the curling iron and then i'll be back to show you guys the final look okay, so for time's sake i didn't even really fool with the back i just kind of focused on the front so that you guys could see this took me like maybe 10 minutes just to you know kind of blend everything and whatnot but y'all, look at all of this hair, and I don't even have all the extensions in. I mean, these extensions are so beautiful, very high quality. I am obsessed with them. I'm gonna show you the back, even though I really didn't perfect the back, I just want you guys to see what it looks like. Definitely could have uh, fooled with that a little bit more, but hopefully y'all can see that. Oh, I'm just so obsessed. So there you go. I'm obsessed with these curly hair extensions. You're gonna see me wearing these a lot. So if you're interested in checking them out, I'll leave everything linked in the description box, the kind that I had in the picture and this set as well. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video today. If you did, please again, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.